Birthday Candles is the show opening at the Penobscot Theater this weekend. We had our first, uh, what, dry run last night, a, a preview, if, uh, as you will. pay what you wish. Sure. Yes. Yes. Uh, two cast members here, AJ Mooney, Daniel Skinner, uh, are our members of this cast. AJ, I'll start with you. Okay. Can you just give us a little uh, synopsis of what Birthday Candles is? Sure. It is about a woman's uh, life from 17 to 107. And ev every scene, these small scenes, uh, have to do with her birthdays. So 117, 118, 39th birthday, 80th birthday, and so on. Now, uh, Daniel, uh, what role do you play in this uh, in the show? Uh, I play a couple roles. I play Billy and John, Billy being uh, Ernestine's son. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, so what, uh, when, you're, when you're preparing for playing a couple of uh, different parts, what goes into that? It's uh, certainly, you know, double the preparation, I would think. Uh, you'd think uh, it largely depends on like the size of each role. Uh, like Ernestine is on stage the whole time, so she's just got the one through line. Mm -hmm. um, but a lot of it, it comes down to things like what do the characters want in each scene. Uh, I will say one of my characters has more stage time than the others, so there's a bit more thought put into that. Um, and then a lot of it also comes down to like costuming sometimes and just knowing that you have a different relationship with the characters on stage. Um, yeah. AJ, uh, is it difficult to play? this character at the different stages in her life, a challenge that you were excited to take on? Yes, definitely. I think that we can all relate to a 17-year-old inside us mm -hmm. and a 30-year-old, and I'm 57 now, so I can do that, and then, and then 100. And without playing too caricature, I just think we have it all inside of us. And it's done with lighting and sound, so things shift and you start to really understand like, oh, these are time changes and this is happening. And and, and the other cat, the cast members, they're fantastic because they play all different ages as well and they're in and out all the time. Um, it's probably one of the best roles I've ever had. Is there an age that you uh, enjoy the most that, of all the, the going through it? That's like, such a good, question. a good question. I don't know, but I love the first scene. And sure. I love the first scene and I'm 17 with my mom, who is not, like she, what is she, 30s? Amy Giroux, she's fantastic. Um, but I love, I love playing young, young. And I, I don't, I just love this play, but I think the young, I love playing young. Okay, yeah, fun. Yeah. Uh, is this appropriate for anybody who wants to come and take in the show? As long as they're okay with some uh, language at points, otherwise. So maybe I, towing the PG-13 R PG kind of line, soft R. But that's about as far as it goes, like just uh, not even adult themes, just sure. very universal right. themes throughout. So if you have yeah. FX at home, you can see this kind of thing. 100%. Right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. for yeah. sure. Yeah. yeah. Cable after 9 p.m. Definitely okay. fewer cuss words than yeah. the bear. Sure. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. <laughs> If people even have cable, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. I know, right, right. Uh, so how have the rehearsals been? How, you know, how's the cast come together? I think that we've developed a beautiful ensemble, a very trusting ensemble. Um, it's one of the best, really. And um, Catherine Markey is our director. She's the Stonington Opera House uh, artistic director, and her home base is in New York. She really brings so much insight and a lot of excellent exercises to get us to where we need to go yeah. and uh it, just being on stage with everybody, we're, we're just very in tune with each other, and it's it's a delight. It's a gift, really. So you yeah. rehearse, you have, you go through these, and then you mentioned last night was your first uh, pay as you as you wish. Yeah. What's it like letting it? You know, okay, is this joke gonna hit? Is are they gonna react to this? What's it like when the first time you get to give it to a live audience? Uh, it's a, it's a hugely informative moment because <laughs> you get used to playing it in certain ways and mm -hmm. uh, holding certain things for emphasis but the audience is just going to react how they do. So if you're on autopilot even a little bit, you might suddenly be trying to talk while the audience is laughing through something. Mm -hmm. um, and it's also really reassuring, at least ours was last night, because the audience was really, really enjoying it, um, laughing where they were supposed to, getting a little bit more thoughtful and uh, introspective where they were supposed to. Sure. That's right. Yeah. I would always, that's, it's an interesting for you actors. Wait for it. You know, let the you you earn the applause. Let them uh, you know the laughter. Let them play out. Don't it, don't step on them. Absolutely. And it's this is for the audience. Sure. And and we needed the audience, mm -hmm. right? Didn't yeah. you? I mean, as soon as we felt those bodies in the audience, we were just I just felt alive. Yeah. You know, and it was very funny because I wasn't expecting a laugh where we. Because it's always been the tech crew, and they laugh yeah. here, there, yeah. and there. But when, <laughs> but when Ben Lehman comes on as something, and the audience just 
laughs, and I thought, oh, we have to hold for this. Okay, oh, this is so different. Oh, <laughs> yeah. you know, yeah. Yeah. our runtime's 90 minutes. It's going to be 92. So yeah, yeah good. we'll pick up those keys. Uh, yeah. All right, uh, <laughs> Penobscot Theater uh, .org is where you can get uh, more information about tickets. Yeah. Uh, it runs through October 6th. Thank you both so much Thank for your you. time.